This is our last segmento. Okay. <clears throat> coverage of the Napa Auto Care 500 from Martinsville Speedway in Virginia being brought to you by Daytona USA in the official attraction of NASCAR. By the White Track Pontiac Grand Prix, proud sponsor of the U.S. Olympic team. And by NASCAR Heat for PC and the PlayStation game console, the only game that brings the heat home. Tony Stewart wins here at Martinsville. Dale Earnhardt finished second, third place finishers with Sean Kernan. And that is Jeff Burton, who had a dominant car today and led the most laps, so you got the 10 extra bonus points, uh, moved up, closed the gap on uh, on Bobby, but just not enough to get around Earnhardt uh, there at the end to pick up second. No, we had a, we had a great car today. You guys did a good job in the pits. In the pits. Um, we got beat out of the pits for a couple of reasons. The main reason was the 24 took on two. He, he pulled out, so I had to slow down, and that cost us a lot of time on pit road, and um, it just hurt us getting off pit road, hurt our track position. Then I got by him, and I got on the outside of the 40, and um, we got together in the middle of the corner, and I got way up into the into all the stuff, and Earnhardt got by me, and that was a race. Jeff Burton, though, comes home with a third-place finish today and does close the gap to 227. Ricky Rudd finished in fourth position. Jeff Gordon drove to fifth. Dale Jarrett from 31st starting position up to sixth. Spencer, Skinner, Marlin, and Bobby Labonte completed the top ten. See Park, Nadeau, Andretti, Nemechek, and Elliott the top 15. All those cars on the lead lap. And you had five cars that were one lap down. Schrader, Levine, Mark Martin, Johnny Benson, and Ricky Craven. Then some more two laps down. Rusty Wallace was one of those back in 23rd place. Wallace started on the outside of the front row, but struggled to a 23rd place finish. Here's 31 through 43 now. Kyle Petty dropped out of the race. So did Dale Earnhardt Jr. with a crash. Mayfield was out, and in fact, uh, Wally Dahlenbach, Brett Bodine, Hutt Strickland, and Ward Burton also failed to finish the race. Take a look at the points once again. Dale Earnhardt trails by 213, Jeff Burton by 227, and Dale Jarrett 251. Still a very tight battle among four drivers for the 2000 NASCAR Winston Cup Championship with Tony Stewart now with five victories this season finish uh, right now in fifth position in the point standings. Well, we mentioned Talladega is coming up on the 13th with Bud Pole qualifying Friday at 4 o'clock Eastern. Happy hour for that race will be on Saturday afternoon at 4.30 on ESPN2. Then on race day, Sunday, October 15th, it's RPM Today at noon, NASCAR Today with Bill Weber at 12.30, and the Winston 500 presented by UPS at 1 o'clock Eastern time on Sunday, October 15th, here on ESPN, a wrap-up of the day's activity on RPM tonight at 9 o'clock that evening. Well, coming up next, the PGA Buick Challenge, a good battle going on for that championship, too. Stay tuned for all of the action. Once again, Tony Stewart wins here at Martinsville Speedway in Virginia. It's been a great afternoon. Thanks for joining us very, very much. 43 drivers started this race with the hope that they could drive to victory lane, but it didn't take long before the spinning began. There were a total of 13 caution laps in this event for 88 laps. Once again, the activity on pit road was very, very busy with some bringing out the sheet metal and a lot of hot car crashes. The average speed of the race was 73.857 miles an hour. Jeff Burton led the most laps, 202. Tony Stewart, the winner of the race, led 179. Thanks for joining us here at Martinsville. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com.